Hello everybody, my name is Lise. Welcome now everybody who, those who wish me dead movie review. I've been very much looking forward to this movie. Taylor Sheridan, the Taylor Sheridan who written Sicario 1, Sicario 2, Hell or High Water, Wind River, made another film, Those Who Wish Me Dead, starring Angelina Jolie. And the thing is always this, if you saw the trailer, you saw the movie. To me, this film is just good. It's a simple plot line. Angelina Jolie is a, a, a person who studies fires and basically is a firefighter. She has some past trauma of some people she couldn't save before. She meets the kids in the wood who's being hunted down by assassins. She has to save him. At the same time, there's a fire going around him. So she needs to confront her fear, save a child, and take out the assassins. Typical Hollywood movie. I would have much more respect for this movie if it didn't go to the typical, you know, the routine. I mean, let's be honest. Nobody's going to really die of importance. Like, the certain characters you think are going to die are going to die. The ones who you think are going to survive, survive. Uh, Angelina Jolie, struck by lightning, falls off the tower, hurts her hands, it gets punched in the face like over a billion times, still survives. I'm sorry, no. Pregnant lady survived a fire with the mask on her. Her husband dies of his wounds. Understand why the husband dies, why the pregnant lady didn't die in. If everybody died except for the kid, I would have been much more uh, uh, give this film a higher up because it would have been, oh, okay, that was different. But it wasn't. I mean, this is the most mediocre film of Taylor Sheridan. And Those Who Wish Me Dead, let's talk about the title of that freaking film. Those Who Wish Me Dead. Why was this the title? Sakari 1, Sakari 2, okay, the title makes sense. Wind River, it's happening on a Wind River a reservation of the Indian camp. So that makes sense. Hello or High Water, that's a quote from the movie. Those Who Wish Me Dead, no. It's not that this movie wasn't bad, it's just I'm more disappointed. I uh, Taylor Sheridan, again, is a great writer, great director, and I do enjoy this film. I, I like the fact that this film had like a... Uh, it goes to cinematography, they actually shot on location, and that's a great thing about Taylor Sheridan. He's an old school type of uh director. Granted, is he the next Martin Scorsese? No, but I think he did a good job with this film. This was film is good, but when she, it's like Taylor Sheridan's writing and directing and his other films are such like a B plus A level type of films. Those who wish me dead is kinda like more like a C plus B minus. It's not up to that par. There are some great action scenes, some great storytelling, but overall, I'm not the greatest fan of this film. Those Who Wish Me Dead, it is a good time, but if you're expecting the greatness of Taylor Sheridan, what that he usually does, it's sad to say this is not. This is his most mediocre film to this date. It's not a bad film, but it's one that you could watch at the trailer and you saw the entire movie. But that's my personal opinion, everybody. Those, what y'all think? Do you think Those Who Wish Me Dead was a great uh, movie? Do you think it was a terrible movie? Please let me know what y'all think, everyone. Angelique Scott for everybody. Bye-bye. Uh,